Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. We have made it to the end of this cold, cold week here in the heart of the Arkansas Delta. Good morning, everyone. It is three degrees and a wind chill of eight below here in St. Francis County in the state of Arkansas. It is cold. No doubt about it. It is a cold, cold, cold morning. How are you guys this morning? How are you? What's going on? Aren't you glad that we have made it to Friday? Come on in and say hello. Let me know who all is uh, going to be hanging out with me this morning. Uh, say hello. Hit that share button and all of that good stuff because we want to chit-chat this day. It is Friday. We are excited. We are glad that the weekend is upon us. So glad that you're here. Oh, my goodness. What a cold morning. I was not prepared to see those temperatures when I rolled out this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, where in the world did that come from? But uh, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing, folks. This is the last of those cold days. Good morning, Gary. This is the last of those cold days. Tomorrow morning, we are projected to go above freezing and to stay above freezing. So all of this mess is going to start melting. It is going to start getting out of here. And so to that, I say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, so if we can just make it through today, guys, make it through today. We can do this, right? I mean, we can do this. Hey, come on in. Say hello. Let us know when you're here. Go ahead and uh, and hit that share button and uh, send it over to your page so that we can uh, get your friends out here and get your friends joining us. That's exactly what I'm doing. It. I send it over to our group. Uh, we have a private group for Ridgewood, and then I send it to my personal ministry page. And then I also put it on my personal page. So uh, I like to get it out there. I like to uh, just, hey, I, I, more people the better that can come on in and that can hear the gospel. That is what we want to do. Good morning, Miss Andy. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so come on in, say hello. Grab your coffee, grab your Bibles. We're going to wrap up chapter 10 this morning in the book of 1 Samuel. So uh, I am I'm excited to do that. Oh, I've got a sneeze coming on, folks, so might as well just get ready. It's going to happen. Woo! <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Good morning. All right. Uh, uh, I'm almost done. Uh, I've still got a couple more clicks to go. Good morning, Miss Denny. Uh, come on in. Say hello. Let me know who all is hanging out. Hey, Miss Denny says, so blessed again to be warm and dry. Amen. Amen and amen. There is the Allens. Good morning, folks. Glad y'all are here. Come on in. Grab a seat. Grab a seat, grab your coffee, grab your Bibles. It is time for the Friday edition of the chat. We are glad that you are here. Uh, we're going ahead and just saying hello. This is kind of that open uh, welcome and greet time. And we are also taking this opportunity to sharing it to our news feed. So uh, if you've done that, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Thank you for your contributions to uh, the Ridgewood Online Ministry, we appreciate that. I am almost there, and I can sit back and chit-chat and not worry and hit all the right buttons. There we go. All right. Mm. Well, that coffee is extra good this morning. Oh, my goodness. It is extra, extra, extra good. Okay. Uh, man, like I said, it is Friday morning. It is a cold Friday. All right, if you have not stuck your nose outside, let me just say something. You might want to wrap up. It is three degrees Three. One, two, three. Three degrees of the air temperature and the wind chill is eight below. It is cold. Not even going to kid you. And of course, all of that snow that's on the ground that's kept the ground frozen and kept it packed in, it just, it, it's kind of uh, uh, exponentially makes it colder. So if you happen to stick your nose out, folks, you got to wrap up. Okay. Stay home today. This is the day to continue to stay home. We're almost out of this. Okay. The uh, all forecasts are projecting everything above 32 starting tomorrow. Good morning, Miss Judy. Uh, everything should be starting to warm tomorrow and going to warm up uh, every day as we move forward. So if we can get through today, this is the last of the cold, excuse me, the cold, cold. We can do this. We're almost to where we can get back out. We're almost where we can actually just get out of our houses, okay, and get out of our houses safe. The roads will clear. 
So it's just, we're almost there. Thank you, Jesus. We're almost there. Uh, I do have a report this morning and I have seen this and I've seen, I'm actually looking at pictures now. Uh, there were some folks that work at the Walmart here in Forest City have posted pictures and folks, the store is empty. Uh, I'm just, I want you to know. So, uh, uh, this was the post. Uh, and so I just, I want to share this along to everybody and you might want to tell your friends and your family. This was posted about two hours ago from friends that, uh, uh, that, uh, do work there. And it says, before you go bashing us for, for not having anything on the shelves, just keep in mind that, uh, we've just had a winter storm come through and the trucks can't deliver until the roads are safe. The associates can't make it into work to stock, even if we did have trucks. Just to keep everyone safe, this is coming out of Walmart right here, okay? Coming out of Walmart here in town. We are out of everything. No milk, no sugar, no oil, some bread, no meat, very little produce, and very little cheese, okay? Just as a heads up. Denny says Cash Saver has groceries, okay? Uh, don't know how much cash saver has, so you might want to call if you have to get out, if, you see folks, there's this big if, uh, if you have to get out, you need to call first. And then if you don't want to get out and you want somebody else to do it, call us, okay? Because we will get out for you and get you your groceries. Not a problem. We will get it taken care of. All right. So, uh, having said that, I have got all that out. And folks who are in Wynn, I know there are some stores in Wynn that have been closing early as well. Gary says Big Hayes had some. Okay, good. That's Big Hayes and Wynn. Uh, you've just got to, uh, Corey, use emergency food. Yeah, Corey, we've already done that, buddy. Uh, so you need to call your grocery store if there is a hint that you're going to want to get out. Okay, so. Uh, you, you want to do that. And again, don't get out on the roads unless you just have to. As they start to melt, they're going to get slushy, which is going to make them uh, kind of slick. Okay. So let those of us that's got four wheel drives get out and go get all the stuff for you. Okay. And we will take care of you. But, uh, in the meantime, we're almost there. We're almost home free. And to that, I say, praise the Lord. We are so close. Uh, Remember that uh, everything, all functions, all activities on our church campus are suspended. There is nothing going on on the campus, okay? If you need Gloria or I, you can reach out here. You can call me if you have myself. You can always reach me on social media at any time. That is not a problem. Same thing with Gloria. If you have her number, you can call her or you can reach her by email. Gloria, uh, we have set up Gloria's office at home. Uh, we got everything that we needed out of her office yesterday. Uh, her computer, uh, was saved, thank the Lord, and we have got that set up. Uh, we've got, like I said, all of the necessities out of her office that we were able to salvage. Uh, we got out and she has set up her office in her home. Mine is here. And so whatever you need, we can take care of it immediately. All right. We are at your disposal. We're just not going to be on the church complex. And all services, all activities, everything is suspended. There is nothing going on on that campus until further notice. Uh, so that means all services online, uh, including our Sunday morning. Everything is online only, online only. And so we need to make sure that we pass the word along. I'm going to be putting out some PRs uh, posts this afternoon, making sure that, that we get the word out. And I'm going to need you to share those as soon as those posts hit because we need it out in the community that there is nothing going on on the campus. Uh, we just, uh, we just need to make sure that our, our folks are headed. And I'm actually going to put something on our website as well. Uh, I've had a little things, but I'm going to actually put a, put a pretty good sized post up there today. So that way that everybody is out there and all about. So, uh, having said that, okay, we are still moving along. Nothing is going to change. Uh, our broadcast schedule will remain the same except for Miss Pat. Okay. Miss Pat will be off indefinitely until we can get things back, uh, locked and loaded. But uh, make plans now to join uh, Brother Larry and I on Sunday night or, or Tuesday night for Sunday school uh, as uh, he'll be continuing to teach. 
And then uh, I'm here Monday through Friday, Lord willing, at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we will continue the chat Wednesday night, 6.30. And Sunday morning, we are shifting the broadcast turn-on time to 10.30, okay? It's normally been 10.15 to open the digital lobby. We are now at 10.30. So that is a uh, just a real brief scheduling change that you need to make note of 10.30, okay? So go ahead and get that ready to go. Mm. All right. Our daily Bible reading in February as we are studying and reading scriptures about forgive and forgiven. Today we are in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25. This is a powerful verse when it comes to forgiveness. Isaiah is literally uh, giving us the words of God. God says this, I, even I am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will not remember your sins. What a promise from God. Oh my goodness. Isaiah 43, 25. Something you need to definitely get committed to. Get committed to memory. Okay, folks, we're going to be in First uh, Samuel chapter 10. We're going to wrap up the chapter. It is official today. Saul becomes king. He is announced king. And so get your Bibles. Go ahead and turn on over there as we are going to dive into that. So uh, I, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm going to be glad to get out of my house. Uh, I can't even get out of my driveway right now. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that most of you are kind of like the same way. Uh, are your Sunday school lessons in Luke 1 through 9? Uh, you know, Tommy, I think that's what it is. I don't have a book in front of me. Uh, so uh, let me, my wife is going to get her Sunday school book, and I'll actually tell you where the text is going to be uh, on, on uh, Sunday morning, or on Tuesday night. So uh, hold on just a second, and we will just kind of kind of give Miss Denise an opportunity to grab her Sunday school book. And then we will definitely take uh, notice of that. Yeah, Miss Denise, tell us where we're going to be Tuesday night. Let's see. Thanks, baby. Okay, this coming week, let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, the text is, is Luke chapter 7, verses 40 through 50. Let me write that down here, okay? Let me, let me kind of send that out here. Luke, Luke 7, 40. 40 through 50, okay, is the Sunday school lesson for Tuesday. Very good. Okay, Luke 7, 40 through 50. Thank you. It's a great question. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we will roll on beyond that. Okay, great, great question. That's on Tuesday nights, okay? That is on Tuesdays. All right, so get your Bibles. Are you ready? Uh, remember, Anytime that you see post on this page, okay, we need you to go ahead and share it to your news feed. Share it to your news feed. Uh, I, I went over some things yesterday about making sure that you are receiving the notifications, all notifications for this page. You need to make sure you do that. If you're looking at your phone and you're looking uh, on our page uh, underneath the header, of the page. There's going to be a button with three little dots on it, and you're going to need to hit that. It's going to offer up an option for notifications. You're going to want to hit that, and then you're going to need to check the statuses, the video, and the live video, and to make sure that they are all clicked to receive all notices instead of just highlighted ones. So make sure you do that. And there's a post right here at the top of this page that will help you uh, to determine that. But that just lets you know, that gives you a notice anytime that anything is done on this page. So we want to make sure that you do that. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Get that all taken care of today. As a matter of fact, if you've got other pages that you have liked, you need to make sure that you do this. Uh, make sure that you are following those pages because Facebook is making a monumental shift. Okay, and so we need to make sure that we're doing that or we're just going to lose out. Hey, you won't receive anything. Okay, Saul is proclaimed king. You guys ready? Here we go. First Samuel chapter 10, beginning at verse 17. Then Saul called the people together to the Lord at Mizpah, and he said to the children of Israel, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt and delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of all kingdoms and from whom, who, and excuse me, and from those who oppressed you. Can't even read this morning. I'm sorry. 
But you have today rejected your God who himself saved you from all your adversities and your tribulations and you have said to him, no, no, set a king over us. Now, therefore, present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and by your clans. This is literally, we're talking thousands of people here, okay? And when Samuel had caused all the tribes of Israel to come near, the tribe of Benjamin was chosen. When he had caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their families, the family of Matri was chosen. And Saul, the son of Kish, was chosen. But when they sought him, he could not be found. Therefore, they acquired of the Lord further. Well, has the man come here yet? And the Lord answered, there he is hidden among the equipment. So they ran and brought him from there. Get this, folks. And when he stood among the people, he was taller than any of the people from his shoulders upward. So we're talking when all the thousands of the people of the tribes of Israel came together to hear Saul, to hear this event taking place. Here comes Saul, and he is literally head and shoulders taller than anybody in Israel. Okay, we need to understand how big this man really is. Okay, he is massive and it's so big that it is so obvious how big he is and much bigger than any other man, any other person in, in Israel. And Samuel said, this is verse 24, and Samuel said to all the people, do you see whom the Lord has chosen that there is no one like him among all the people? In other words, Guys, this guy stands out from the crowd. So all the people shouted and said, Long live the king. Then Samuel explained to the people the behavior of royalty. Now, this is pretty this is pretty interesting verse, okay? And unless you've studied Samuel, we miss what's in this verse right here. Then Samuel explained to the people the behavior of royalty. In other words, he laid down the protocol, the, the rules, if you will, the behavior of the king, the behavior of royalty. Look here. And wrote it in a book and laid it up before the Lord. We don't have that book in this book. Okay, So this is a pretty unique document that Samuel wrote out for the king, for royalty, all right? Wrote it in a book, laid it up before the Lord, and Samuel sent all the people away, every man to his house. And Saul also went home to Gibeah, and valiant men went with him whose hearts God had touched. So already you have got a pocket of men that God has been working on that is going to follow Saul, that's going to be his leaders, okay? But, look here, verse 27, but some rebels said, how can this man save us? So they despised him and brought him no presence. Now, what that verse means is, is any time, this was all part of the rules of royalty, any time that someone, a commoner, went before royalty, they had to bring them a gift of some kind. And it could be anything. It could be a basket of bread. It could be a uh, grain. It could be uh, a jug of milk. It could be a live animal. It could be, but anyway, it was a gift. Uh, and it was presented to the king, uh, as a, a thank you, if you will, uh, an appreciation for taking the time to see them. This is all, from this point forward, this is still going on. All right, and most of your modern kingdoms, in order to to really get before the king, you got to bring you you have to bring a gift of some kind. Okay, but the rebel said, "How can this man save us?" So they despised him. So already he's got a pocket of people against him. And look here, and they brought him no presents. They immediately defied the rules of royalty. Immediately, I'm talking instantaneous. So there is already a division among the people. You caught that? But he, this is Saul, but he held his peace. In other words, he kept silent about it. It's literally, 
And, and this is going to tell us an awful lot about the character of Saul. Because when, when we read this, that he literally held his peace, he became silent to it, it's as though he was deaf to the rebellion. He just completely ignored it like it wasn't even there. And that will eventually lead to his downfall. So from the very beginning, there were issues with the royalty. And yet, that's what the people wanted. God gave them what they wanted. He gave them a king. Little did they know what would take place in the years to come. Folks, that is all I've got for this cold, cold Friday. I hope that you have a warm day. If you have to get out, please be safe. Do not get out unless you just have to get out, okay? Call one of us. Let us take care of it, and we will get it for you. In the meantime, join me 1030 Sunday morning as we wrap up the Seismic Shift message series. It is going to be an absolute incredible message that you do not want to miss called The Aftershocks. I will see you Sunday morning. And in the meantime, call somebody today. Encourage somebody today. Let them know you love them. Okay? Let's get these phone lines. Let's get these text messages busy. Let's reach out. Love you guys so very much. I'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye.